been hipster most of my life. I have a car, two kids, and a wife. I'll probably be here for the rest of my life. I'm living on the island. When summer comes and winter falls, the island ladies go to shopping malls. Take daddy's credit card and charge it all. They're living on an island. I will live on Long Island. Oh, you know it's so much fun. I'm living on the island. I'm just basking in the sun. Hey, Andy, give me a vodka. Is that your Camaro? It's gorgeous. You know, I went to high school with Billy Joel. <laughs> I go to Hampton's on Friday night. I party hard in the sunshine bright. And I'm sitting in traffic on Sunday night. I'm living on an island. And welcome to the Gagoot Show. I'm Nicole LaMonaco, of course, with Jeannie Powers. Hi. Jeannie, are you Nicole. all ready for the new year? Uh, yeah, sure. I yeah. am. I got my hat <laughs> on. I'm ready to go. I am, actually, I'm not ready for the new I'm year. I'm not ready I'm for like, this. yeah, no, I'm, I'm not. still not ready for Christmas in advance. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting I, anybody anything I this didn't year. Even, I, tried to, I tried again to go shopping. I tried again, and I shopped for myself oh, again. Again. Yeah. Which is fun because I don't really like to shop. What'd you get? Um, just clothes. Oh, clothes. All More right. Clothes. But I have, you know, I have to tell you, I meant to bring this up last week while I was wearing jeans, and I don't know if this happens to you or, or most women, but I have this. I'm gonna bring the fantasian out for a sec. I have a camel toe phobia <laughs> when I'm when I'm putting I on jeans. I always have that phobia. Oh my god! And you know, I shop alone most of the time. <laughs> when I'm putting on jeans, I'm constantly inspecting myself, like. Is, is it, it there? Okay? Is it Do okay? I have it? I'm trying is to look it? in the mirror, and you just can't get a good look. I don't know. Can you get a good look? Because I can't get a good look. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you, I well, I'm not opening my legs. I have <laughs> not got a skirt on. I don't know. I very rarely get a camel toe when I, I do. I, I call myself out on it. I'm like, I got a camel toe. If I got a wedgie, I'm picking my wedgie. It just, you know. Uh, you know what the worst I don't like about wearing jeans, though, is I'm not one of those people that wears like those cutesy underwear, like screw that, I'm all about comfort, that's what I'm built for. And I wear the granny panties, but then I'll put a pair of jeans on and the underwears stick out the back? No, they fall all the way down to the middle of my crack, and they're down <laughs> the middle of my pants, so I gotta reach down there, I gotta pull my underwears up again. It's all it's awful being a girl. It's I am terrible. all about the cute panties. You are. I am all about the cute oh, panties. Who's got time for And that? I don't want VPL. No VPL. That is bad. Camel know. toe is bad. Moose knuckle is bad. VPL is bad. I don't know any of those. Oh, for the, the toe. Uh, <laughs> the moose knuckle is when it's really bad. Camel toe. Oh, it is so bad. It looks like a moose knuckle. Oh, good oh, lord. God. I just want to walk up to people and be like, "Doesn't that hurt? That's gotta hurt." Oh, yeah. Just call them out on it. Oh yeah. no. I don't. At people at work, I'm like, "Yo." Pull your pants down. Fix your shit. Yeah, exactly. V and what's the other one? VPL, visible panty lines. Oh, see, I get seamless. Is that, well, is that what we're talking about? Well, Same you thing? can get seamless panties, yeah. but sometimes they're not seamless. Oh. Sometimes you think they're seamless, but if you buy the wrong size, they're not seamless. Oh. But the worst is men with VPL. Men who have VPL? <laughs> men who have VPL are wearing women's panties. Stop it. We can tell what you're doing. Well, you Caitlin's. We know. <laughs> we know. Oh, my God. Your, that's your, so funny. Your panties are too tight. Oh, good Lord. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of panties in a bunch, um, this segue is absolutely awful. <laughs> What's going on in current events? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know. I don't, I, don't e I don't even know. Well, Star Wars, like, blew all the records away. Star Wars just blew every record away. Did it? I, but didn't somebody say that? Jurassic Park had it the first opening weekend? No. Jura no? No. That was wrong? Yeah, it was wrong. False information? Yeah. Avatar, Jurassic World, it just like, it blew it all out of the water. Okay. Billions of dollars are being made by Star Wars. Well, of course. Yeah, and I'm just going to throw the spoiler out there. No. Come on. It's been two weeks. No! It's all you over can't the place. do that. Oh, yes, I can. You can't do that. Oh, God. People. Next week I'm doing no. it. No! I am so doing you it. You can't do that. Okay, do you watch Glee? You don't watch Glee? You I know they sing and they dance. Yeah, well, on Glee, one of the big stars, and this is all over the news right now, mm -hmm. Puck, Mark Sowing, who played who? The, Puck. Puck. He played Puck. His name is Mark Sowing. This is probably one of the only shows he was on. I don't think he was on any other show, but Glee was a huge show on. Right. It was on. Um, Leah Michelle. Yes. You know her. And J uh, Jane. Jane. Yes. Jane. Yes. She played. Track suits. Yes. She I played. Know. Yes. She played the cheerleading coaches on that show. And Corey Monteith. Who played um, Leah Michelle's boyfriend on the show? He had died of a heroin overdose. I heard of that. the show, and that's why they ended the show. But the guy who played Puck, Mark Salling, he was just busted today for child pornography. 
What is with all these child pornography? Why? Guys? Stop with the little kids, you fucking pigs. I can't understand <laughs> it. I don't know why there's so many baby out there in the world. Like, knock it off. Don't touch mm -hmm. the kids. Yeah. Just Jared leave them from alone. Subway, leave them alone. Mark Salling. Really? Stop. Yeah. Your whole life, you, you, I just don't understand. You guys, right? Jared from Subway, you have a great name for yourself. You're doing things. This guy, whatever, Puck, Mark, whatever. You, you spend your whole life going to get your career together, and then you screw it up by watching, by watching children do yeah. sexual favors. And he got, it, he got outed by you his ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. In the rectum. Which he probably will while he's in jail. With a fist of knives. A big fist. A big fist of knives. <laughs> right in your tooth. Right up the bunghole. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I don't want to talk about babies like that anymore. That's terrible. Um, Bradley Cooper sweats from his ass a lot. Oh, my God. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't understand. Look at the problem. Swinning. <laughs> I need to know. I gotta get in touch with him. Like this day, oh my god! I'm just yes. shoving paper Bradley towels Cooper. down my back. He doesn't like, sweat from his armpits. Why am I so sweating? Yeah, he doesn't sweat from his armpits. It's the he, butt. He sweats from his ass first. There's no idea. Anything else? Ass sweat. Him and I have that in common. Oh, I'm jealous that you have something in common, Bradley Cooper. Oh my god! I, I feel like don't. I feel like me and him need to be friends. Like, what do you? What do we do? Like, what do we do to fix this? Have sex with him. I don't think that's gonna his fix sweaty it. I think ass gonna sex. Add to the sweat <laughs> problem. It's going to be more bodily sweat <laughs> lubrication. I don't know. Um, however, um, Motorhead, are you a fan? I'm not a fan, but I know. Okay. Yeah. Lemmy. Yeah. He died. died. 70. Yeah. Rock star status. I didn't want to bring it up. It was sad. <laughs> it's I don't have anything to come back from this. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's sad news. Uh, sorry about bringing that up, but he died, and he's a cool dude. And I think he's. I know get he was some a remarkable, respect, remarkable, so. remarkable artist, and it's it's very heartbreaking to hear that he had died. You I know, mean, it's one of those people you just you don't want to hear when anybody dies. No, nope. unless it's like you know Mark Allen for fucking kids, but you know exactly those people. Those are the people that need to go. Mm -hmm. But um, and they live, they live forever and ever. Richard Marks, it's probably before your time, right? Yeah, but I don't know him. Daisy Fuentes. MTV? Yeah. Remember her? Didn't she, she do a Dorito commercial once? She did. The 3D Doritos. Years ago. Yes. Years ago. I thought you were way too young. And, and Richard Marks in the 90s, late 80s, like 87 to 90, had a lot of hits out there. I'm like right here waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Piano. Yeah, got, yeah, yeah. They just got married. They, them? Yeah. Two? The Together? most odd couple. I don't. Hey, whatever floats your boat. I I'm so. still Callista Flockhart and Harrison Ford. Uh, oh my God, I forgot they were even together. They're still that a is, thing, right? Oh yeah. Joke. With his face. How funny. He just is happy and sad at the same time. It's hilarious. <laughs> you said Jeannie sent me a thing on Facebook where the dog like just it looks exactly like, it looks exactly like him. It's so funny. Hilarious. But um, we're gonna get this show going in a I little bit. I just have bit. to say something What's real that? quick. My what mom's birthday was on Christmas. Oh, okay. Right? And we have Christmas at my house. We forgot to sing happy birthday no. to my mother. Yes. Oh, no. The whole Filipino family Do you want to sing there. happy birthday to her now? Is she watching? Well, I'm going to make her watch. Yeah. Okay. So we have to What's sing. What's her name? Natty. Natty? Natty. Yeah, Natty. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pronounce it Nat T. If yeah, no, uh, Natty. Okay. I, was, I didn't know if I was going to say Natividad or if I was going to say Nat Nat Natividad. Natividad. Natividad, yes, because she was born on Christmas. So. That's like I mean, Feliz Navidad, but yes. in your Filipino. native language, it is Natividad. Navidad. Yeah, what Natividad. Is I'm going to say Natty. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so easier, one, Natty. two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Natty. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Now I don't feel like a total shit. There you go, mom. A horrible daughter. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to you, you little Christmas angel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we have guests that we're going to bring on a little later on the show. And we're going to um, hula hoop. And we're going to hula hoop. <laughs> At some point later on, there's going to be some hula hooping. Our guests tonight are Luis Leon and Sandy Chan Simone! Simone. <laughs> We've been playing around with her name all night trying to figure it out, and I was like, I'm going to get it right. 
teach Chan Simone, and we're going to bring them on a little later on in the segment. And next, you're going to see Benny and John Santos during their segment of Breaking Wind. Stay tuned on The Gagood Show. You're watching MadhouseTV.com. Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. This is Breaking Wind with Benny Rizzuti. I'm Benny Rizzuti. And I'm John Santo. Originally, I had a lot of celebrities and some former presidents who wanted to do this segment with me, but there were too many people to fit in this set, so I figured, why not have John Santo? Why not? John, let's talk about the year in review. The presidential race. Big yeah, news. Big news. Big president. news. So, what would uh, George W. Bush think about uh, the presidential race that's going on? Well, if George Bush were here, I think he would say that it was a very competitive race. It's... Uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of name throwing. It's getting dirty, dirty politics. I think. It's getting and uh, Bill Clinton. I think, I love this this Republican race for president. Now, I don't care if Sarah Palin could see Russia from her house. I just want to see inside Sarah Palin's house. I love, <laughs> I love Sarah Palin. <laughs> you do? You love Sarah? I really do. She's not running this time. Uh, that's a shame. That's, that's a shame. <laughs> And uh, what would Ronald Reagan think of uh, the 21st century presidential race? Well, people ask me, what would Reagan do? I wouldn't vote at all. <laughs> you don't remember? I don't recall. <laughs> I don't and, know. All right, now one of the people who is running right now is Donald Trump. That's right. Donald Trump is running. Now, uh, I'd like to ask a few questions to Mr. Trump. Go all ahead, right. Betty, whatever you want to ask. <laughs> Mr. Trump. Uh, have you seen any of the new Christmas movies? I haven't, Benny. I tried to go see a Christmas movie, but I couldn't get in. Star were, Wars? Couldn't do it. Why not? Too many illegal aliens in front of me online that bought tickets and filled up the theater. So how would you handle something like that if you were president? I would deport them and make room for people to see the movies. So you're saying that illegal immigrants are keeping us from seeing movies? I'm only speaking in my, in my particular case, yes. Now, one more question I'd like to ask Mr. Trump. Mr. Trump, Mark Zuckerberg, I don't know if this is a hoax or real, right. Mark Zuckerberg is giving an average person like myself $4.5 million. If you need a million dollars, Benny Rizzuti, to do the show, you have a million dollars. That's it. Why, thank you, Mr. Trump. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, we don't we need to have any fun with the news. Oh, we have we, fun with the news. We don't need advertising. I can see him saying that, too. Like That's how ridiculous Donald Trump is. Now, what else about the new year? What's uh, going on? Star Wars. Star, Star Wars, Wars movie. movie. Don't worry, no spoilers. I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? Uh, yes, I've seen You've it. You've seen it. I've okay. seen it. I, I loved it. Good picture? I think it's great. I think it's people are getting too critical with the movie. I think you have to look at it as an attraction, like a ride if you were in Disney World right. or Universal Studios. It's a Star Wars ride. For two hours, they take you on a ride. Right. Who cares if it, it's a little similar? It's uh, 35 years later. A lot of right. fun. I really oh, is that the, that's the storyline? It's 35 years it after, is 35 the, after years Jedi? It is 35 years after Jedi, right. But you know what really is 35 years after Jedi? And they have the original cast. 
Yeah. Right? Which well, is great. Or in their 70s. Yes. I thought the picture was going to be the Empire Blue Cross and Blue Shield Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I, I would use, I have a Star Wars joke, but I've been using it every, on this show. Oh, on the show regularly? <laughs> yeah, okay. regularly. So about uh, that, I was hoping to finally find out how a virgin princess got the name Leia. <laughs> <laughs> because if I directed that movie, she'd be giving a little nookie to the walkie. Well, I did, <laughs> I did a Sopranos video with the, you know, the Sopranos talking about the Star Wars yeah. movie. And I had Tony Soprano saying, you know, how much did it cost to build a freaking Death Star? Like in the trillions. If you have that much money, retire. Get out of the empire business. Go on a beach somewhere and retire. You know, it's like, it's ridiculous that they would do that. You know, spend all that money for what? To blow there's up there's no right, one, but Then after that, they're all going to say, okay, what do you want? More money? You have trillions of dollars. <laughs> if you think about it, the whole series is ridiculous. What did the other surprise? And I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of them. Oh, so I, in, the, in the video I said, uh, you know, just retire to a beach on Alderaan. Right? And then I have Bobby Bacala go, they can't. They blew up all the run. Well, hypothetically, if they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and how about Silvio? How would he be in the... That's the face to say, I agree. <laughs> if you got that much money, open up a chain of intergalactic strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> you really get into this. Yeah, I get into this. You know, if you yeah. mix Star Wars and The Sopranos, which I, I've been doing in my act recently. Yeah, no, yeah, that's a lot fun. of fun. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's fun. What else is going on in the new in the past year? What are the big uh, the big stories? So we had the thing with Adele. Adele had the big song or something, the Hello song. Yeah. I'm it not got, an Adele it got, fan. I'm it, still... it got 400 million searches on Google last year, and it only happened later in the year. The whole Star Wars thing got only 155 million searches. And Adele got more searches than four that. times the amount of than Star Wars, which is a six you know a six movie seven movie franchise. Fascinating. Well. I, I don't. I, w I don't really have a point. I just wanted to show. Oh, okay. I, I did, yeah, I did some yeah, I'm trying to think of a point too. But Adele, I just. No, I don't I have don't a point. I don't listen to Adele because I don't want to cry. I don't want people right. to see me cry. Right. Here, if you listen to Adele, you just cry. You a just lot. cry a lot. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. I did some research for the segment. That's yeah, yeah. all. I what don't else? actually have a point. What other? Uh, oh, let's see. Well, that was bad news. Bad. Oh, I don't want to even talk about this. The Kansas City Royals won the World Series. I'm a Mets fan. You're a Mets fan. I'm a Mets Met fan. Yeah. At least we were in it. You know, we finally got back to the. World Series. Life, now, here's the thing. Water on Mars, a pretty significant event. There'll be 10 million searches. <laughs> Adele, 400 million. <laughs> the Kardashians, 500 million. The Kardashians. The Kardashians. Yeah. I hate to even give them airtime, time, but just to show you I know. how... Why do you give how them water on Mars is a gigantic, you know, a huge scientific discovery. Right, Water on Mars. 10 million searches. Terrible. They'd rather search the moon of Kim Kardashian. That's right. <laughs> They're Apparently, according to the data, yes. Her moon got a bigger... Uh, her moon was on the front page of... Uh, Almost broke the internet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this year. This year? This year, this yeah. Year. Was, that year? was that this year? Was that this year? Fact checker, go check that out. <laughs> we don't actually have a fact checker, but that sounded <laughs> yeah. great. So what uh, else do we have on the uh, year in review? The uh, Zuckerberg thing with Facebook. I said that already. You did? Yeah. Oh. Donald Trump good offered me a good, Oh, right, you did. Right. Yeah, Donald oh, Trump but I, I thought we were going to talk about it as a scam on Facebook, how everybody believed yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't know that. Tell me about that. And, uh, oh, it's a scam. I mean, everybody right, so thought it was... Uh, who wants to tell me about that, what it's a scam? Oh, that's a scam? Yeah. Uh, who can tell you about that? How about uh, Bloomberg? All right. Uh, there is no um, uh, Zuckerberg stock swap. It's all fake. Uh, we've been tracking that at Bloomberg. There actually isn't any stock that's going out to the people. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I miss right. him. He was funny, Bloomberg. He was great for material. Yeah, yeah. He really I know. Was. The, the new mayor now, you got to work on him, right? Yeah, he's yeah, not funny. I'm hoping he won't be there soon, so I won't have to work on him. He's terrible. <laughs> he is. He oh, is. The city crime is up. Terrible. So now, let me ask uh, Mr. Clinton, what are you looking forward to in the new year? I think, what am I looking forward to in the new year? More Sarah Palin. I like Sarah Palin. <laughs> I've, Any New Year's resolutions? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, Hire some interns. Uh, I don't have any interns working for me right now. <laughs> and you haven't mentioned the fact that your wife is ru running for the Democratic... Oh, I forgot about <laughs> that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yeah, my wife Hillary's running for the nomination. I'm, I'm afraid of her winning, actually. Could you yeah. imagine how much power she'd have if she had the FBI to investigate me? I heard that the reason that when you were president... The reason that no one was allowed to wear a dress in the White House is because 
whenever Hillary bent down, they would see her balls. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I can confirm that's true. Anyway, uh, we're going to wrap up. We, this is, uh, this is a breaking, great segment. Breaking Wind with Benny Rizzuti. I hope you come back. And I we'll, totally will come back. And, I'm Don uh, Santo. I've always wanted to do that new segment. Okay. You, this is Benny Rizzuti. Oh, and I'm John Sanders. <laughs> oh. And this was Breaking Wind with Benny Rizzuti. With Benny Rizzuti. This was fun. I mean, great. We'll, uh, we'll go back. You'll see Nicole and Jeannie will be interviewing our guests, Luis Leon and Luis Leon. Sandy S- Sandy Simone. <laughs> <laughs> but we can Sandy hear laughing Sim- in the background. <laughs> They messed me up, too. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye. Uh, Happy the New bumper's Year. on. We're off. Oh, it's worth my thing. Hi, I'm Tom Mealy, one of the founders here at Madhouse TV. You know, people ask me all the time what motivates me and what makes Madhouse TV different than all the other internet broadcasting studios around the world. Well, I tell you, what motivates me are the people we get to meet, the people we get to help, and the, and the lives that we change by allowing their medium here at the studio. And I think that that's what my motivation is. What makes us different? Madhouse TV has been around for the past five years. We have a solid foundation. We've seen studios come and go. We've seen studios in basements, garages, shacks, little shanties all over the place, people wanting to do this type of uh, this type of media. This is the media of the future. So what makes us different? Here at Madhouse TV, our team, Tommy Marr, Vicky, Janine, we take this very seriously. This is not a joke. This is a very serious business. And to be serious, you need to spend money. And to need to spend money, you have to have the best equipment possible to make the best video and the best broadcast possible. And here at Madhouse TV, that's exactly what we strive to do. We've got a strong foundation. We're going to be around for a long time. You know, they look at me every once in a while when I come up with an idea and they say, oh boy, here we go again. But you know what? It's that, oh boy, here we go again, that keeps us the best. And we will continue to strive forward to do whatever it takes to be the best internet broadcasting studio in America. And i got to be honest with you, folks. We're on that path. Over the past several years, we have had some of the top entertainers here in this studio. We've had lunch with people like The Who. We've had people in here like George Thorogood's Destroyers. Tommy Marr has been inspirational in bringing some of the biggest talent in the world right here to the studio. You know, that's what it's all about. Once you're the biggest, once you're the best, they're going to come. So we're offering all of you out there who want to have a, a shot at media i want to have a shot at being on television give us a call here at madhouse tv we'd love to talk to you our prices are believe unbelievably reasonable this is not cbs we never planned to be cbs so if you want to be on tv you want to get your message across you have a non-for-profit that you got to get that message out to people people of hope give us a call at 631-882-6900 we're here to help We're here to have a good time, and most of all, we're here to become the best and the biggest in this business. Thanks so much. And we're back on the Good Good Show. Hi. You guys, I'm sorry that uh, Benny bunched your name a bit. We did it. We did it. We did it. I did um, in, the, in the back, in the green room, I was like, what? Uh, sh- Shen Simone? <laughs> Shen Simone? You make it sound so fancy. I know. He comes in, and he goes, in, I'm like, is it Louis? It's Louis? And yeah. I'm like, Leon? He's like, Leon? I'm like, what? This is on paper. It's Louis. Yeah. That's what we do for a living. We just have complicated names. That, okay, <laughs> that's, it. that's what it goes down to. Oh, that's so funny. So you guys are into a whole like array of things. Too many things, yeah. That's awesome. Though. Love it. Yeah. You're like gypsies. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. my kind of people. We travel around. Can we first yeah. talk about the fact that you two are a couple? Oh boy. 
<laughs> and you met on Tinder. Tinder. Okay, right? yeah, we Tinder. And your yeah. success we story. Was it swipe yeah. right? Well, to we left. were both swiped. Yeah. To the left. Oh, okay. Right, so yeah, I don't know. Right is good. Yeah, we swiped in the right direction. In the correct direction is okay. where we both swiped. swiped. Right. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. We've been together yeah. over a year now. Yeah. So I feel like, like, is that like a Tinder miracle? Yeah, we won <laughs> Tinder. We beat the game. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's we awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're the 1% of... If you have like a video people. montage at your wedding, if you guys get to that point, you should be like, like people have to, they should have to swipe have to, swipe to go tin, through yeah. it. <laughs> Did you have like a crazy Tinder profile? No, it was so boring. Really crazy Tinder she profile. She talks about this like on stage and stuff. Like, yeah, because um, after we got together yeah. and people would ask like, oh yeah, what, what did, did he say? What did, yeah, what did he what say to you to like get you to even like <laughs> talk to him back? And I was like, oh, I think he said something super funny. <laughs> So I won somehow. I don't know how I got from there. What was the second thing yeah. I said is what I need to know about. We should check that out. Check that oh, out. yeah, because we were talking about that we like food. Right. And that was it. And that's all yeah. we've ever liked. And we, yeah, so. that's been our, that's our awesome. most bond. Is really I love her already. Right? right? She loves food. Yeah. Asian. Food. It's food. It's like we're <laughs> sisters. Can I just tell yeah. you a moment that she spirits. had? Do you mind if I bring this moment up that we had in the green room before? Please. I, what were we talking about? We were talking about f food, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were talking That'll about happen. Here, <laughs> right. And we were talking about all the fast food places and whatnot, and she just made this beautiful sound that was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Asian in me just and came I, out. And, she, and that's what he said. He's yeah. like, oh, that, you were so Asian. I was like, oh, thank God you said it, because I don't know you that right, well. Right, I'm right, right, right. with you. That was and, the most Asian thing I've ever it seen It was her amazing. Do, ever. It was incredible. And I like, held back my laugh so hard, because I was like, <laughs> Yeah, you didn't have to. Can we laugh at this? Because it's so funny. Yes. Oh, my God. It's perfect. Food. So food funny. gets that reaction yeah, out of all of us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All her and I were doing out, all her and I were doing out there before while we were waiting for more was talking about food and all yeah. the places that we like to eat. Yeah. yeah. Food in California, yeah. food here. And both of you were talking about hitting up the chocolate in the green room afterwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, you tested I saw it. I did. I was testing it. Yeah. Yeah. Putting it back. Speaking one bite of it. California. 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 Yeah, like the, kid, the governor of California. 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 We had him on the show before. Um, you were from uh, you from Utah. Yeah. Then you went to California. Now you're landed in New York. You're like a little busy bee buzzing all around. You're <laughs> so worldly. Right. I know Utah, California, New York. Yeah. <laughs> three places. Been all three places. Three places. <laughs> um, now you're here. You do sketch comedy. You write. You perform. Yeah. You. Where did it start? Was it start in Utah? No, <laughs> actually, well, I always thought I was like out of place. <laughs> yeah. it's, well, what's funny is I always thought I was funny, and then I would read about all these comedians that, as kids, uh, were always out of place and didn't fit in, and I was like, that's me. That's my life. I should be a comedian. <laughs> but then I never thought it was something you can actually do as a career, and so I thought, like, okay, I'll, I'll find a job, but then I'll do comedy on the side, and then when I was in California, I never tried it, and then I was like, you know, I'm going to go out to New York and finally do it. That's awesome. So yeah. So that's why I came out here. But I came out for like legitimate reasons. I was like, I don't want to be a poor struggling comedian. I want to do that. <laughs> so I was like, I'll come out here and get a master's degree that I never finished. <laughs> and do comedy. What do your age parents think about that? <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> She's a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> one day my work email worked and then one day it didn't. <laughs> Colored shirt on for yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. It's a whole number. Yeah. yeah, it's just a look. Yeah, what's my excuse? <laughs> now you mm. uh -oh. produce music, mm -hmm. you DJ, sure you do. do comedy, you both do improv, mm -hmm. you do karate as well, and hula hoop. <laughs> I mean, what goes on? Well, it's 2015, so you can't just be good at one thing anymore. Uh, that's yeah. true. So you have to be shitty at a bunch of things. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so like that's how we're getting along. So I figured. Look, I do all these things where kind of I'm already on stage anyway. I'm already using a microphone. I'm already entertaining a bunch of people in a room. I've always secretly kind of wanted to do comedy. And then I met her, and she's successful at it. So I figured, let me just write some coattails. And way. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it came together, and we co-produce a lot of stuff now, which is great uh, because she's a go-getter. And I am not a go-getter. So, <laughs> it's an Asian thing. And it really is. Yeah. Really, she has the genetic advantage to like, be yeah, organized. Yeah, the difference between and, us <clears throat> is uh, Lou grew up with um, getting compliments as a kid. Right, the whole time. I did not have <laughs> so then, yeah. like, you know, um, you know, I could get, you could encourage
encouraged me. I was like, oh, I've never been encouraged. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that is like. So that's our that's our push and pull. Are is you sure we're not related? <laughs> right? Aren't you all related? We all are. people. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm always the one like, that's such oh. That's a white thing to say. <laughs> Yeah, but we do, you know, we'll sit and we'll do like the post-mortem of each of one of our shows and I'll talk about the positive aspects and what we need to keep rolling with and she, she yeah, does. Yeah, I'm uh, more like, this could be better. <laughs> this <laughs> wasn't needs work well. Yeah, like, what you need? <laughs> but you need both of those to kind of like push you forward and get better, you right. know? If you, if you think you're great all the time, you're not going to get any better. But um, yeah, we kind of have that kind of push-pull thing going on, which is like, we were just literally talking about a show like earlier today, how... I was like, oh, this was great. This was so natural. We felt great. And she's like, well. <laughs> you know, <so. laughs> it's cool to have different perspectives you on it. You have to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we both agreed, it would be so boring. You know? So she's always yeah. keeping me in check, which is great. I need, I need that kick in the ass. That's so, cool. That's yeah, great. How do you, um, now, as far as musically, mm-hmm. and uh, you, were, we were talking in the green room before that you, you DJ, mm-hmm. where do you do that? Um, all over, all over. Mostly in the city. Okay. Um, mostly in Manhattan. In I'll clubs be... or? No, no, no. I used to do clubs. I've graduated from the club world. Because okay. it's, a, it's a whole thing. So I tried to, you know, the clubs are fun, and that's where you really cut your teeth as a DJ, but I need to pay rent and have a career. Right. Um, so I now work for an agency where I do, you know, corporate events and weddings and, you know, big deal parties. Like, I'll be at the Mandarin Oriental for New Year's Eve. Awesome. Um, which is, a, it's a it's a gift and a curse, you know, because I have to work all the holidays where you want to be with your friends and family. Yeah. But it's great because I get to party for a living. Yeah, <laughs> so. that's not the worst thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like and the worst eat case wedding thing. food every weekend. Every exactly. weekend. I know. And I sent her pictures. Like, what food are you yeah. eating today? Yeah, I sent her pictures of like my glass of scotch and the potato bar that was, you know. Oh no, yeah, like, potato, oh, potato bar? Oh, mashed potato bar, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah almost every wedding. Yeah, entire bar. Yeah. I was, he showed me it was like a platter. Yeah. Of the- yeah. I sent her picture. She's like, this is the hottest picture you've ever sent me. <laughs> turned on. Yeah. Get home now. Bring potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Awesome. I'll melt the butter. Yeah. 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 It's already started. <laughs> yeah, it was just, just yams. It was just a table full oh, of yams. Oh, I'll have the cinnamon and marshmallow. Oh, yeah. They had all that. They had all that thing. So, but, the, yeah, but these are these are the types of work. It is kind of a weird situation for me because you get, first of all, the open bar thing, but then you at these lavish venues. Oh, like, poor you. Yeah, it's the worst. I can't wait to tell somebody when I retire from DJing, and they're like, oh, you get to quit party time for a living. That's that's nice. You retire, retire from drinking and dancing all night. You need it. You deserve the break. <laughs> so I'm glad I don't have that, you know, because most people will have this sweet quit their job story like oh I shit on my boss's desk and I bounce and moonwalked out of that motherfucker but now, <laughs> I'll uh, never have that story no you know you should you should have that story once in your life. right once in your life you should have the sweet quit story yeah but it's okay because I have the sweet professional life so I don't have to worry about the there you go. quitting part so. smart it's a Very trade smart. You have, do you guys have any of those cr- crazy stories where you walked out no I've never maybe you go fuck yourself <laughs> really? I've never done that. Well, you work I, with your family, you said, right? So oh, that's yeah, that's it, yes. <laughs> no, you know what? I don't fuck time. yourself to my boss every day. <laughs> you would. <laughs> you would. You would. You would. It's just his birthday, the day after Christmas, and we have, like, this birthday club at work, so we all we all have to give a certain amount of money, and then everybody has to fill out the card, like, happy birthday, and have a wonderful day, and I wrote, go fuck yourself, love the Fantasia. Awesome. <laughs> and I you love spit that. in the card. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, see, you didn't lick it. You like literally just spit on the other <laughs> one. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, I walk past oh, his office, you. I flip him the bird. Yeah, I have oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you get a raise is, this is week. Is flipping the bird okay here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. You're going to get the blurry, like, the yeah. distortion I, I was in a meeting with him yesterday, and he just, like, gets up. He just gets up from his desk. I go, where the fuck are you going? <laughs> you fucking ask him. Why not just so she talks to her boss. I yeah. Know. I said the fuck yeah, I'm What do you done. work? I want that job. <laughs> oh my god. Good relationship. Oh it's all well, yeah, I've worked for him for ten years, so it's 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 good. You know, we've always had that rapport. <laughs> Thank God. Because Oh yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. They so, told me yeah. I remember the first day I worked there, somebody called him a dick. And I was like, <gasps> You just called you just called him a dick. <laughs> and like within two days you're gonna do the same thing. Like, I'm a fucking dick. <laughs> But he is the most <laughs> wonderful man I've ever worked for. You probably oh. have to be in order to get away with calling somebody. Yeah, but he says yeah. that to me too. You know, he's like, go fuck yourself. Nina. <laughs> See you tomorrow. But you're pretty wonderful in your own ways. When you like people, you're wonderful too, then. So, yeah. Sure. <laughs> in your way. Yeah. You know, I mean, if she's super, super nice to you. Yeah. That's a problem. She hates you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if I want to eat with you, I love you. <laughs> exactly. Like, we yes. share food together. She's like, you and me. We're okay. We're, 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 we're okay now. <laughs> you, you're still on the fence. Right, <laughs> She's okay. If I have like really sweet. Rain-
radio voice with you? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Move no. no. quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Bring food and get out. <laughs> now, I, I'm really curious about this whole karate thing because... Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Do, are you in competitions? No. <laughs> 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 it was actually a while ago. It's a long I, time, I took, yeah. yeah, I took karate in college and then... I actually took like a, a few different types of martial arts. There's a types, class so. in college for karate? My, yeah, my college, college had... In Utah. Had <laughs> California. California. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I took... Because um, when I graduated high school, I felt really clumsy. And then I always felt like as a woman, you need to be able to defend yourself. And I always thought like, you know, at some point I'm going to live on my own or I'm going to go to New York. You have to be able to defend yourself. So I took karate classes and then... It came very naturally to me. Rage and violence. <laughs> and let me tell you, she is no joke. We work the pads together. Oh yeah, and she's, I'm really yeah, good at kicking. Yeah, real good, <laughs> real good. So we were doing. She's like, "Oh, you have karate pads? Let's do a thing." I'm like, "This will be fine." <laughs> just, and then later, I had like bruised ribs and a digestion problem. So oh my god! <laughs> I'm just picturing like right. the scene of Windworld Two when they're both like the dad. Windworld Two when the dad and the and Wayne are just like. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Beatles, the, the, the monkey. Yeah, the monkey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah, she's uh, she's dangerous. Yeah. 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 I like to keep. Well, that's good. Know. It's all soft spots. That's the key. Right, you got right. a lethal woman. Yeah, it's great. Or lethal woman. Okay, that should that would make a good movie. Lethal woman three. I'm gonna go see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stuck on this potato bar, you guys. <laughs> I know, right? Sorry, Have I you been to a wedding with a yeah, potato bar? I'll let me say, I, I derailed the show. I apologize. No, so. I'm going to a wedding on New Year's Eve, That's and right. I swear Maybe to God, Jess and Tim, bar. You, you guys better have a potato, potato bar. bar. <laughs> I'm also picturing like a bunch of potatoes at the bar, like just like drinking like <laughs> like, like actual uh, potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> the first one I've ever had a wedding with a potato bar and these martini glasses. Martini glasses, yeah. What the the, hell yeah. Is this? yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one I told you. That was the one I sent you the pictures. But they were martini glasses. They served yeah, they them in a martini them in glass. Martini yeah. glasses. Oh, right. so they give that's you not enough. Potatoes yeah. with well, cinnamon you, you and marshmallows. I can't. Melted oh. cheese and chives and cream. Oh yeah, sour cream. Everything. It is. It's a little torturous for me because I can't partake until later. Right. You know what I mean? Because I'm a heard but not seen type of person. Right. So yeah, I get to look. Stop me. Yeah, yeah. I, get I, to... <laughs> I just go over. I wait till everybody else is cool. done, you know, and then I'll go and scavenge. So right. that's fine. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, the remnants. Just drop the scraps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. So um, we have a we have a show, right? So we I guess we should like yes, the thing please. That's going on. Is that cool to plug the show? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So we do we do a show. Uh, we do a monthly uh, comedy show. This month, sort of, it's happening twice. Um, so we have one tomorrow night in Long Island City at, at the, the Standing Room, room uh, which is awesome, the sister club of The Stand, uh, which is great. So we'll be there tomorrow. It's our show called Here's the Thing. we got a great lineup for tomorrow. And then we have another one on January 3rd, which is out of character for us because we usually do the first Sunday of every month. But we got this great opportunity to, to work at The Standing Room, and we're very excited about it. Awesome. Um, so both shows are at The Standing Room? No, the no. Next uh, the next one is at the Experiment Comedy Gallery in Brooklyn. Uh, which is this new up and coming hotspot where they're doing tons of comedy shows, which is awesome. And actually, so. they've been getting a lot of press because um, the whole because um, Mo, who runs runs the place, mm -hmm. uh, you know, heard about Trump and how he like, doesn't he wants to kick all Muslims out. So he actually has a if you tell us you're Muslim, you get in for free. Yeah, it's so great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah. So it's yeah. the Trump special. The Trump special. <laughs> so we'll be we'll be honoring the Trump special on January third. Cool. Um, so it's a show where we do like it's her concept. She kind of came up with this whole idea and named it. Um, she's the looks and the brains of this operation, <laughs> okay. so I just kind of relax on that. But what we do is we have comics on our show, and there's a lot of um, kind of commonly overused phrases with comics where they say, you know, here's the thing, or the other day, or let me leave you with this. Um, so we have these common phrases posted on stage behind them, and every time they say one of these phrases, we honk a horn, yeah, during their set, we honk a horn and they have to take a shot of beer. Or oh, liquor, sometimes we do liquor. Yeah. I yeah. watched the clip and I was What's going on? Why are they all drinking on stage? Yeah, yeah. Why can't I be a part of this? <laughs> you, you can. You can. We have if you have five minutes of material, let us know. We'll put you up for sure. Uh, yeah. But it, it's fun and it encourages crowd participation. So when, when the crowd hears those things, we encourage them to yell That's at everybody. Cool. Yeah, so it kind of dissuades yeah, heckling and stuff like that. It's a fun little show and we've been getting noted. We're featured in Time Out New York now. And How long have you been running the show? This is our, what, seventh month now? So. Seven or eight, yeah, at yeah. this point. It's a brand new show. Okay. Um, but we've been getting traction. We had a lot of guests last time, and we're trying to kind of build a following and get some notice. It's a fun show, and comics love to do it because it helps them work on their set. So. Yeah. <laughs> now, you um, yeah. you're, you take this everywhere now. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Is this, are you getting 
other shows? Are you booking other shows and being like getting up otherwise? Are you guys focusing oh, yeah. mainly on this? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we well, do other shows. Like I'm actually, um, I have a regular spot on the Pit Presents, which is um, the Pit's kind of like stand up residency. Okay. So that perform is like uh, we perform every other week. Actually, that's coming to a close, um, and they're gonna start the new. Uh, the new season. The new season. Yeah, ever. she was headliner a couple of months back too, yeah. which was great. In July or August. Yeah, July or August. Like Twenty-five headliner. minute sets. Oh, yeah. awesome! Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a lot of fun. That was great. Yeah. yeah, and she hosts right. open mics all over the city too, which was. Amazing. You're so proud. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> so proud of her. Yeah. Yeah. She's a woman. Why wouldn't she's I be proud? She's an Asian woman. Yeah, I don't care about all that. Hilarious. She's just an awesome person. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, yeah, of course she's, I'm proud because it's stuff that I want to get off my ass and do the same stuff. You know, yeah. and she's out there doing it. You know, it's which awesome. is great, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's that. a good balance. Yeah. Because I think when I prepare material, I'm funny. He's naturally funny. <laughs> oh. So. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we have like we Cute do. They are. We do. <laughs> I know. I know. What a vomit. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that chocolate I used coming up. <laughs> 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 Seriously. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, so you guys glad to are be adorable. Here. <laughs> so glad to be here. Me and Judy are just over here hating right now. Oh my God, your kids would be adorable too. Uh, oh yeah, we little half breed yeah, children. They look oh, like yeah. me. They would. <laughs> They'd be gorgeous. They would look like you. Gorgeous little Sean Lennon looking kids. Oh, I can't wait. Let's oh, go. it's gonna be amazing. But we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna go to a commercial, Thank and you then guys. we'll be back with Benny, who's gonna join us on the couch in a little bit. We're gonna hula hoop. What? Yes, we are gonna hula hoop. You're watching the Good Show on MadhouseTV.com. We'll be right back. Okay, hold on. on the Gagoon Show with everybody. Yay. We're all here. We're all here. The gang is all here. Oh. John Santa, mm. Betty Rizzuti, Ginny Powers, Sandy. Chance Amon. Chance <laughs> And Luis Leon. Wow. Okay. wow. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, you know, I was on uh, Leon. I'm like, Leon me. Lay it on me. I'm like, that's why I'm going to it. I hope you got to remember it. I'm fine with that. There you go. I don't know. That's what my brain went. So, um, what else? What do we got going on here, everybody? Uh, I'm glad it's uh, the end of the year. Right? Yeah, going New Year's resolutions, yeah. right? Oh. Yeah. No, yeah, I just I have my... I don't resolution. make those. No? <laughs> I want to eat more. <laughs> That's a resolution. Okay, I want to eat more. You can stick exercise to that. less. Eat more. <laughs> yeah. That works. Although I get fat again and have to start all over. Uh, and that's not happening. No. <laughs> what about you, you guys? Have, do you have resolutions? I you? have to lose a lot of weight in the new year. All right. Definitely. I, I do saw too, myself uh, on camera. Lose weight? Yeah, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. How about you? Lose weight, Benny? You're fine. Me? I'm uh, almost 200 pounds. What did you say? I'm almost 200 pounds. Are you really? Yeah. No. Yes, I can't believe it myself. But scales don't lie. So that you both want to lose weight. <laughs> they money. lie to me. They lose my scales. <laughs> my doctor told me I have to lose 20 pounds. He goes, every time you come here, you're getting fatter. I said, I'm not going to come here anymore. <laughs> that's, that's definitely the problem. I gain like two pounds every time I go there. And how about you, Nicole? You me? Uh, I don't really, I don't know. I guess maybe try. I'm gonna, the key word is try mm -hmm. to be a better listener. What? 
Um, but it, you know, it's like me trying to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying oh, to man. say sorry less. Okay, that's a oh, good one. Oh, that's a really good one. That's a really right? good one. That's a really, really good one. Can I share that, that one? <laughs> that Why, you say sorry a lot? Much. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm apologetic for everything. It doesn't matter oh, what it is. stop that shit. shit. I know. Yeah. It's bad. Listen to I was good for a while, and then it just declined. For I don't know what happened that sometime in 2015. Jamie's never sorry. That's a slippery slope. No regrets. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry is your hashtag, your main thing. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm gonna try to do more comedy in twenty sixteen. There you so go. I'm gonna make it, you know, get yeah, up on stage more. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not gonna be funny, but I'm gonna try and do it. Hey. <laughs> there you it's go. go. <laughs> yeah, it's like get get up. Up. That's it. That's it. Just go on stage. Yeah. All right. So what's with this hula hoop contest? Oh then? yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> It's enough minutes. It's enough minutes to have a little competition. And uh, the judge is going to be uh, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, oh here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Watch this thing go to the ground. All right, let's count it up. On the count of three, you guys can start. Wait, come okay. closer. You got to come closer. Sandy, you got to come back. Come closer. No, I'm old. <laughs> Watch the monitor. Count of three, you guys. It's going to go right. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you guys! <laughs> I feel I like I'm my best I just want to say, oh, she's spinning around. <laughs> she's doing, I just look like I'm playing the US for any of them. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright! All right. I have a new resolution. I have a new resolution. My, my new resolution is to watch more butts in 2016. <laughs> Well, I'm ready to issue a, uh, a, 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 a decree. I think it's a three-way. <laughs> three-way time. Three-way time. You left that tie. I'm not to say tie. Oh, my goodness. A Christmas yeah. tie. Woo! I filled my quote of exercise. Where it is. I'm Time to eat. Yeah. Where are we going to eat? Sushi. That made sushi me so hungry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I tell you, this piece of shit out of the last time I was on the show. <laughs> I wasn't here for that. That's you were here for that. I was on the first episode. The first <laughs> show. Ever. Wow. It was oh. amazing. The first show, October 6th. I knew 6th. then. I foresaw this show would be a huge hit. Wow. wow. You're on well, the thank first you for episode? having me back. Oh, you're hey. You're on the first one, and tonight you're on the last one ever. So. <laughs> oh, no. Of 2015. Of 2015. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot that. I love that one. The last one of 2015. Oh, my oh, God. Sorry. So, that's us, guys. That's us. Is, that's, this is, this is, this is, anything to plug? Yeah, you got anything that's to plug? That's us. Uh, I, have, I have nothing to plug. Nothing to plug? Do you have anything have to plug? Nothing to plug. Uh, no, we're doing a show in uh, January 12th, Right. Nicole and I, and it's kind of a fundraiser for a movie. Oh, nice. Oh, and we're going right. to have that person in the new year, the person who uh, is making the movie, and he made a... And a, a great trailer. Yeah, uh, it's very, a really funny trailer. Funny trailer with some uh, known actors. Are we watching the, the name of the movie or not yet? It's not. Uh, yeah, we will. We'll say. wait till it comes out. It's even better when it's a secret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then we'll we wait. Have a big but, uh, I like the tease. Yeah. That's great. So, uh, no, so Nicole and I are doing a fundraiser to make money for this guy to for his movie. Oh, great. Oh, okay. So cool. that's a cool fundraiser. We're doing a show. Yeah, we're nice. doing a show here on Long Island. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Because there'll be music and stuff too, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I know. And will there be food? food? There will be food. God, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> She's my food sister. She's great. <laughs> Show what tomorrow you night. Yes, you yeah, yeah, just the skip over me, Benny? What about Your last. Me? <laughs> the I saved the best for last. Oh, Don't touch me. Nice cover. <laughs> no, he, just, he just put that Vanessa Williams down on <laughs> <laughs> So that's us now? Okay. Oh, sorry. Jean, I don't want to... No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on, Jeannie. No, tell no, her. No, no, you guys know. It's all right. 
So we have our uh, we have our Here's the Thing show tomorrow night again on January 3rd, and we're usually the first Sunday of every month, and we've been moving around venues, but yeah, come check us out. You're Here's a traveling thing. show. We're a traveling show. Here's the thing, stand up at gmail.com. So that's that's us. You can and on Facebook too, check us and out. And everybody Facebook. has to do a shot. I didn't get to hear Yeah, that. yeah. When you say the it's based on if you say the wrong thing, you gotta do a shot. So it's it's we have all the things posted on, on I Facebook. We do that on purpose. Oh yeah, I know. Some so people many comments just say all the wrong things. Shot, say the wrong thing. Shot. shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the best. All so the alcoholics go to their show. Yeah. Go right. to their show. Come it's very it. professional. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly professional for an alcoholic show. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you got going on? Yeah, what you got? Oh, I got nothing this week. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a new you got a wedding. Jessica I got and Jessica Tim, and Tim, Tim Thompson wedding. who are both comedians. I have their wedding. And I'm sure there will be something that I'm going to embarrass myself with at some point. <laughs> I, a, I hope a, there's video. Yeah. <laughs> a New Year's I, Eve wedding, right? A New Year's yes. Eve wedding. I apologized oh. to them when I got the invitation. I said, I am telling you right now, I'm very sorry for what may or may not be on your wedding video later on down the road. They I can edit that. They yeah. can always edit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah so I'm sorry. They'll take care of it in post. <laughs> thank you so much for having me on the show. Yeah, thank oh, you. Thank very you well. guys. This segment was fun. And yeah, let's not pass over yeah. Jeannie. <laughs> Jeannie, what do you have going well, on? Well, you can catch me on LA News Radio 103.9 with the Hollywood Hit List, Party 105.3, and My Country 96.1 every Friday. Wow. Busy. Nice. Well, thank yeah. you guys so much for coming thank on the show. We love having thank you. you. Yes. You guys at home, happy, happy and New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Take care. Come see you next here. year. Come no, <laughs> see you next Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>